Hi viewers, we are celebrating the Remembrance Day at Streetsville. It was, an opening speech was given by our mayor, Bonnie Crombie. And after that, different people come and pay their tribute towards the whole procession. I hope you will see this all and you will remember that how important it is to acknowledge the doings of the people who are working so hard for our country to keep it safe and prosperous for us and for all of those who are around us. We are Canadians and Canada is a peaceful country. We always celebrate and we always give tribute to the contribution of those who work hard towards it. How would you express as your first remembrance uh, year for uh, for um, being an MP? It's uh, it's extremely somber. You know, I'm clearly young, and I I was reminded of that back during the election. But uh, I can't help but think that there were people as young as me, if not younger, that have gone to war, men and women, who have not returned to their families. And uh, it's extremely humbling to be able to lay the wreath today. So how would you like to give a message to the community about the Canadian Armed Forces and your vision about them? We, it's important to obviously support our Armed Forces. They give a lot so that we are free and live in a very safe country. And again, it's very humbling and I would just like to give my continued support to them. Thank you very much. I really admire that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Good. How about you? Thank you for joining us today. This is Remembrance Day, and we're remembering all the fallen so soldiers who have given up their lives or their limbs for us to get, protect and safeguard our freedoms, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and all the freedoms we enjoy as Canadians today. So you're one of our very vibrantly moving and very beautiful um, mayor. And I see you connected so much passionately with every community. So in this context of very delicate world situation, what would you like to give message to Canadians regarding Canadian Armed Forces? Just thank the Armed Forces for the men and women in uniform who have served our country so bravely and those who are involved in peacekeeping missions today. There are many who live in uncertainty whether their loved ones will come home, many didn't come home, and we thank them for the service to our great nation to protect our civil liberties and to protect our freedoms and keep our great country free. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? Good. So we are celebrating Remembrance Day. What would you like to tell our viewers about how do you think about it? This is very important thing because we feel that we are honoring those people who protect our country and those people who offer their life to protect uh, uh, all our land. What is your message to all the communities and especially your own community? Uh, my message today is that we are honoring uh, all the people that are sacrificed their life to protect our land and I wish uh, all of us to do our best for protecting our land and for serving others and uh, tell the point that we are willing to offer our life if it is needed. So I wish that every one of us to be honest and do his best for serving others and for serving uh, Canada. Thank you very much. You're welcome. With cameraman Saram Jaffrey, Halima Sadia for Tech TV.